my YouTube page, which is a thing of beauty. All right, so I did the same thing here. This is just the trailers for the Flash that are going to run uh, consecutively. All right, now the first thing about the Flash is it manages to capture the uh, sort of the essence of a number of characters, and it captures the essence of a good superhero action movie while at the same time being ridiculous and also being you know the common word in vogue nowadays is, is cringe right okay why is it cringe let's start there it's cringe because of him because of uh, Ezra Miller because it's hard when watching this film especially when you've got two Ezra Millers it's hard to watch this movie and set aside what you know about the guy in real life. I have Ezra Miller at my house right now. We have been offering our home to him, and he came into our home and he's threatening us right now. He hit me in the head with a chair. And I These allegations are coming from the parents. They alleged Ezra was grooming their daughter since uh, Takata was 12 years old. Hey, Ezra Miller, this is Sunday Warrens, but he's crushing codes on Mabel 29. In my Fourth Amendment rights to not be Unlawful. Hey, you just touched my penis. I'm not transgender, non-binary. I don't want to be searched by a man. I'm transgender, non-binary, and I don't want to be searched by a man. I and all the times he's been arrested and the stuff he's been arrested for and the stuff with children that he's been arrested for and never been held accountable. You can find all that. I didn't look it up because, you know, you guys know how to use a computer. You can look it up yourself. The stuff that Ezra Miller has been charged with, uh, but has never, you know, he, he's the never been held to account if you can get past that this movie is worth your time and money to go see all right everyone at this point i decided to uh, forego the presentation that i made on the night of the 16th when i did my movie review on twitch and just make a shorter version here and one reason i decided to do that was because of the previous issue i raised that of being able to get past who and what Ezra Miller is and what he's done and then being able to watch this movie and enjoy it okay it was hard for me to do that no rational person would be able to do that so I have to judge this solely from the point of view of a superhero movie from that point of view just give me a couple minutes to break this down the flash has uh, a jumbled story it has terrible CGI and it has Ezra Miller. On the plus side, it has a good version of Supergirl. It has an actress who's very becoming and pulls the role off, I think, quite well. Uh, for a popcorn movie, for a diversion, uh, for a few minutes of time to just sort of set your mind aside and watch something, okay, it's worth going to see. But if you really want the main hook, if you want the main hook, then the only reason to go see this movie is because of Batman, Michael Keaton's Batman, and some of the other cameos that are in it. There are a number of cameos in this movie. Some of them are kind of funny. Uh, some of them are interesting. The Christopher Reeve cameo was, uh, I thought, a little, uh, it was a little irreverent to the character, I, I, I thought. But then there's a lot of, in this movie that is irreverent. There's a lot in this movie that is just absolute cringe. There's some moments that I couldn't believe. I could not believe that people actually put this to film and stuck it out there uh, as it, it, part of this film. However, will you waste your money going to see this? Will you feel like you wasted your money? Uh, if you exclude the outliers, you know, those people, those percentage of people who of course are going to feel that way regardless of what they see, and then the other end of the spectrum, that percentage of people that are going to go see this movie, regardless of any other external reason, then they just want to support the movie. Okay, you cast all those aside. For all those in the middle, it's about 50-50. That's, that's the best way I can put it. it, it you're, it's about 50-50 as to whether or not you feel like uh, you spent your money well. But it does have Michael Keaton's Batman. So I don't want to belabor that point but if you want a reason to go see the flash 2023 it has michael keaton's batman and michael keaton once again proves uh, that he is and always has been the best actor to play the part yeah 
I'm Batman. Uh, Supergirl was well done, I thought. When you found me in that hole that they put me in, and I wasn't kal why did you help me? Because you needed help. Do you know what this symbol stands for? And the CGI, again, uh, is laughable at times, and it does sort of hold back the presentation, as it were. You know, the, the Iron Man, the 2008 Iron Man movie, the CGI that was in that movie is far better than what you're going to see here. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead. Like I said, I don't want this to go too long. Because when I did my Twitch podcast, I spent like almost 25 minutes talking about this movie. And it really isn't worth that amount of time to discuss. But if I were to grade it uh, against other only judging it against other superhero movies it's not quite as bad as uh say black panther 2 or ant-man and the wasp quantum mania i would put it slightly above ant-man and the wasp but still below thor the dark world and that's the range where this movie's going to fall it has a few strengths a few plus points but it's nothing to really get excited about okay that's my review. Thank you very much. And uh, coming up soon, and probably within the next 24 hours, my movie review of Indiana Jones uh, and the Dial of Destiny, which I also transmitted live on Twitch on uh, June 6th. And I just have to edit the video. So that will be out soon. Thank you very much. Take care. We'll see you next time. 55.1 that's half of what it needed to do, and it's significantly lower than even the kindest of projections. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Grace, speaking of uh, transphobic and someone you called transphobic, we'd really like to ask you about your slanderous Gina Carano tweets that you mm-hmm. sent out. Oh, look at the time. <laughs> oh.